So I finally unlocked True Zenoirin, and one of the things that I've been doing as a tactic is unit rotating. So unit rotation is when you take a unit that is low HP, maybe half of them are dead, and you don't want them to die, or you don't want to commit five of your precious item uses to them. So for example, in True Zenoirin, you have five item uses, and in some cases, you're better off just having several squads and undeploying. So in this case, we have a squad who has a dead unit, a unit at half health, and a unit who's missing some health. So I'm going to just undeploy them. And then what I can do after that is deploy a unit who has not taken any damage. And it's especially useful for long maps where there's several forts to deploy from. So for example, if you have a group push and they kill like three or four enemies and then their stamina is low and they're about to die, you can grab like their forts. In this case, this map is short, but imagine that it keeps going on and there's more objectives and more things to do. You would take their fort, undeploy your low stamina, damaged, half dead units, and then just deploy your fresh units. So in this case, we can deploy Monica's unit, true chivalry. Your will shall be who can then dive this guy for some damage. Now I can change them probably to Keen Spear to attack this boss. But this is just like a really basic example of a thing you can do. Now something else you can do that's very useful when attacking, especially on True Zenoiren, is let's say you, you have a unit with zero stamina that's near something. So an enemy's pushing you. Uh, let's say this enemy's pushing us and the three stamina unit has zero, right? For the case of this argument, or this example. You would switch to the zero stamina to stamina guard your units. So basically, instead of your main push units losing stamina and maybe a little bit of health from, you know, assist spam or just damage from the enemies, you use your zero stamina unit who can still take the fight to reduce enemy health, kill enemies, put them in a state of uh, waiting so that you can get first strike and so on. So this is these two things will help you conserve on stamina and resources, especially like healing items. It's very useful for pushing. So you can have like a leapfrog where you just kind of hang out near a low stamina on a road and then switch to the low stamina or the zero stamina. So that way you can keep your pushing units at high stamina. And then of course, once you grab the fort, you can then reset your stamina by uh, garrisoning because most forts give you two stamina when you garrison. So this allows you to kind of manage health, kind of manage stamina, but overall, it's very important to not just spam items in True Zenoiren because it's very easy to run out of items. Five uses is quite limited. So if someone dies and you need to resurrect them, if you resurrect them, that's one item. And then if you heal them afterwards, that's two items. And now you have three item uses left. And that could be the difference between losing one of these long matches or not. These shorter ones, it doesn't matter as much. You can kind of get away with using items more because it's a short match, so there's like less risk. But if you burn through all your item uses early on, you're going to be in a world of pain, especially on the final boss map and other maps that are very long. So rotating units, managing stamina, managing health. And of course you can do things in like the micro, like that's like more of a macro tactic. You can like rearrange units, see if you get better results in combat, maybe switch some gear around. Uh, so in this case I can reduce damage to 26. Actually that's by 28. Actually increases damage. Sometimes you can get away with some things. So she's in a void tank. If I put Lucky Coin on her, she might dodge. So that's a possibility. So little things like that. Now this isn't really working out here. They're still dealing 27 damage. But sometimes rearranging units can allow you to drastically reroll RNG and take significantly less damage. So it's very good to do. Another thing that's nice is if you have a magical assist within range. So for example, Look at this. No magic assist, magic assist. Sometimes you deal less damage and take more damage. So it's good to like check things. So we almost have the kill there. And then here we have the fresh unit. So let's say the fresh unit we just want to send in just to like deal some damage, open up the enemies a little bit for a second unit to kill. That's another thing you can do. Another thing you really want to pay attention to, don't use the same unit. Try to push with groups for True Zenoiren. In expert mode, you can really get away with running like one or two units. Uh, in True Zenoiren, I highly recommend you push with like groups of twos and threes so that you have more stamina to work with. So for example, let's say we just want to use one stamina each for attackers. So now we can do that. 
I'm right next to you. So now, but instead of one unit having three, another unit having five, they both have four. So we're kind of like distributing the stamina. Uh, but yeah, stamina management is probably going to be something that matters more long term. Now, of course, you can create super groups, which can stop content. So you don't necessarily need the stamina rotate as much. But the, there is a problem with running few super groups, and it's this. You have five item uses. And it is possible that if you run valor skills that reset your stamina, you could kind of get away with just running super groups in Trues and Oyer, and that might be the case. That might be what people end up doing long term. But for the short term, I would say have a few units you can switch in and out that have good mobility and good like loadouts that can take enemy combats and use them, use their stamina as a resource, rotate them out instead of resurrecting. You can, of course, always station something in a fort and it'll start healing. But that is typically, you know, much slower than just switching out a fresh unit. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Just want to talk about switching out units, positioning, stamina, and some basic tips for Trues and Iron Mode. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.